Asia Media Network and today we're here at Chase Field celebrating AAPI Month where the Diamondbacks is honoring the leaders of the Asian community within Arizona. Come join me. Stadium. I'm, I'm standing here with Jessica Avazos. Can you please introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Jessica Cavazos. I'm the first Deputy Undersecretary under the Department of Commerce Minority Business Development Agency. Awesome. And thank you for coming here and supporting us to, uh, today. Oh my God, I, I, I love this community. I have nothing but great things to say and great things to take back to DC. This is a, a growing you know, community that has so much to offer. And as you both know, we're here to celebrate the Asian American influence in, in, in not only the sports, but you know, Asian American Heritage Month. And I am here just to support, uh, to tell people how beautiful it is to have the influence and the support that Asian Asian Americans have into our economy, and, and that you know, again, I'm I'm I mean, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm standing here with John. He's the president of the Arizona Chinese Association, and he's also the organizer of this event. Can you please talk about? this particular event and what it's about? Uh, May is uh, Asian Heritage Month and this is part of a uh, celebration and uh, Diamondback and team up with the uh, Department of Commerce Minority Business Agency to put the big event such as this together and uh, we are very proud to be part of this uh, celebration and we are really honored pleased to be here to participate and uh, as the president of Chinese Chamber of Commerce, we participated in early planning and the execution of this event, and uh, we're very proud of what we did. And uh, last year was only a smaller, much smaller uh, celebration, and this expand to include uh, performance. Next year, uh, Diamond Bank and the Department of Commerce want to make this event even better, even bigger. She's the one that helped organize this event for the Asian community in Arizona. Thank you, Karen. Can you tell us a little bit about this? This event? Absolutely. Well, today we're celebrating Asian Heritage Day um, at the Arizona Diamondbacks. So our office, the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and the Bed Team, we support our, our, all of our communities. Um, so we're here today supporting John Lee and his group of colleagues with the um, Chinese Chamber of Commerce of Arizona. Elema, the advisor from the Minority uh, Business uh, Development, Development Agency. Agency from Washington, D.C. So uh, very nice to uh, meet you here. Thank uh, you. Tell nice us a little bit you. about your mission to come to Phoenix, Arizona. We are here today. I'm here with our newly appointed Deputy Undersecretary Jessica Cavazos. And we are just here supporting Pacific Islander and Asian Heritage Month events. We're, we've had a lot of fun. That's great, and we enjoy, you know, today at the Chay Field. So, um, from the uh, business, minority business development, can you tell us a little bit about the organization? Of course, our mission is to help minority businesses. So, anything again from Pacific Islanders, Asians, Black, Hispanic, uh, Alaska Native. Uh, we have 88 equities around the country, and we're just here to help help minority businesses. That's awesome. So um, minority business owner, they struggle and they need help and there are resources out there. So if people need to uh, get help, how do they contact your office? I invite you all to go to mbda.gov. There's a lot of resources that we have. Our contact information is on our, web, our, our website. So just go visit our website and there you can contact us. here 
with Barry Wong. He's honored today as an award of the Asian American leader of our community. Barry, can you tell us your inspiration to the this generation for the API community? This has been quite an honor to be publicly recognized by the Arizona Diamondbacks before 40,000 fans today at the second annual Diamondbacks Community Asian Night. Wow. I'm, I'm still processing it. It's exciting to be recognized, the narrative of my history, as well as the pictures on the big screen. Uh, I, I didn't expect it uh, in all these years and 30 plus years in public service. It's an honor to be have, to have this public recognition. And I just want to share that that this is not just a recognition for me personally or professionally, this is a recognition of the community. Because over my 30 years and even before that, of my our ancestors, my grandfather, my father, the years that they worked in the community, in their Chinese community, I learned from them, I, I, from public service. And now, as our Asian community in Arizona has grown exponentially, it's not just the Chinese or, or Japanese. Now we have uh, 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 all different Asian populations, whereas the Vietnamese, the Korean, Filipino, and, and, and Pakistanis, Indian, on and on, is that these communities are growing and that we want to encourage the community leaders to also not only be leaders in their own community, but also step up into the broader community to serve the entire population. And that's why it's very special for me to be recognized by the Diamondbacks publicly as well as Asian Night because it's a cumulative years of work and it's been an honor for me to serve the, the public, the Asian community, but the general broader community. And uh, this doesn't happen by one person, but everybody stepping up and supporting me and me supporting them. joining us today and we'll see you next time. I'm Alora Tran reporting from Asia Media Network.